हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी ओवरव्यू ऑफ द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल्स एंड एग्जांपल्स बेस्ड ऑन इट इन पर्टिकुलरली वी विल सी एग्जांपल्स ऑफ इवेल्युएशन ऑफ ट्रिपल इंटीग्रल्स ओवर कार्टेशियन कॉर्डिनेट सिस्टम बट फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल लेट एस सी द डेफिनेशन एंड नोटेशन दैट वी आर गोइंग टू यूज फॉर दिस वीडियो Integrals of the function of three variables over the region of R three are called as triple integrals. The triple integral of the function of three variables, say x, y, and z, over the volume v, we denote by this notation. Triple integral of f of x comma y comma z dv, where dv is usually dz dy dx or dz dx dy, or you can say dx dy dz, etc. All possible combinations of dx, dy, and dz you can use for dv. Note that for the sake of ease in calculations, if v is the sphere, we use a spherical coordinate system, and if v is cylinder, then we use cylindrical coordinate system. And in other cases, we are going to use three-dimensional Cartesian coordinate system for the evaluation of these triple integrals. Now let us see. how to evaluate the triple integrals in cartesian coordinate system triple integrals are evaluated in the same way we used to evaluate double integrals that is from inside outwards by recognizing the order of evaluation this triple integration of f of x comma y comma z over dz dy dx can be evaluated in this way first we evaluate the inside integral say with respect to dz then whatever the answer comes we evaluate its integral with respect to dy then its integral we will evaluate with respect to dx i hope you understood this concept of evaluation of triple integral from inside outwards these curly brackets will help you to evaluate these three integrals one by one now let us see examples here we are asked to evaluate this triple integral of e raised to z over dz dy dx with respect to limits 0 to x plus y 0 to 1 minus x and 0 to 1 note that the inside integral has limits 0 to x plus y that means limits are in terms of x and y so these limits has to be of z that is z is equal to 0 and z is equal to x plus y so this integral has to be evaluated first with respect to dz Similarly note the middle integral since this integral's limit are in terms of x these limits are now of y that means y is equal to 0 and y is equal to 1 minus x therefore this middle integral has to be evaluated with respect to y and finally we evaluate the remaining integral with respect to dx i hope guys you understood how i recognized this order of evaluation Now let us evaluate these integrals one by one from inside outwards. So first we integrate this e raised to z with respect to dz. E raised to z's integration with respect to dz is e raised to z itself over the limit 0 to x plus y. Substituting the upper limit in z we get e raised to x plus y minus substituting lower limit in z we get e raised to 0 that is 1. now we evaluate this integral with respect to y this e raised to x plus y can be treated as e raised to x into e raised to y and since we are integrating with respect to y this e raised to x will be constant so what is left is e raised to y and its integration is e raised to y again so e raised to x plus y is integration is just e raised to x plus y and once integration is just y So integration of e raised to x plus y minus one is e raised to x plus y minus y over the limit zero to one minus x. Now let us substitute these limits in y because we have evaluated the above integral with respect to y. First, substituting the upper limit one minus x in y, we get e raised to x plus one minus x minus one minus x, then minus sign. now we substitute the lower limit in y we get e raised to x minus 
so we just have e raised to x after substituting the lower limit here this x and minus x gets cancelled we left with e raised to 1 minus 1 plus x minus e raised to x now we evaluate this integral with respect to x integration of e is e into x minus integration of 1 is x plus integration of x is x square by 2 and finally integration of e raised to x is e raised to x now substitute these limits in x so after substituting 1 in x we get e raised to 1 minus 1 plus 1 by 2 minus e raised to 1 and after substituting 0 in x we get 0 minus 0 plus 0 minus e raised to 0 that is 1 minus 1 this minus into minus 1 becomes plus 1 after simplifying we will get this expression is equal to half so value of this triple integral is half i hope guys you understood this example now let us see one more example once again we are asked to evaluate this triple integral with respect to dz dy dx let us first check whether this given order of evaluation is correct or not for that we have to observe the limits of integrals first we have to observe the limits of inside integral this inside integral has limits in terms of x and y so these are the limits of z that is z is equal to 0 and z is equal to x into y so this integral has to be evaluated first with respect to dz now look at the second integral its limits are in terms of y so these are the limits of x that is x is equal to 0 and x is equal to y so this second integral has to be evaluated with respect to dx not with respect to dy and finally we evaluate the outside integral with respect to remaining variable that is dy so order of evaluation of this integral has to be dz dx then dy not dz dy dx as written over here now let's go for solution first we evaluate the inside integral with respect to dz so at that time we keep x and y constant so z's integration is z square by 2 over the limit 0 to x into y let us substitute these limits in z so when we substitute the upper limit xy into z we get x square y square and after substituting lower limit in z we get 0 this 1 by 2 is taken out after simplifying this we get x cube into y cube now since we have to evaluate this second integral with respect to dx we have to keep y cube constant and integration of x cube can be written as x raised to 4 upon 4 over the limit 0 to y substituting the upper limit y in x we get y raised to 4 upon 4 and then minus 0 you can take out that 1 by 4 so outside we will have 1 by 8 and then inside the integral we will have y cube into y raised to 4 that is y raised to 7 and integral of y raised to 7 is y raised to 8 upon 8 over the limit 0 to 1 then substituting this upper limit 1 in y we get 1 by 8 and after substituting lower limit in y we get 0 so 1 by 8 into 1 by 8 we will have 1 by 64 outside so value of this integral is 1 by 64 i hope guys you understood this example now it is your turn to solve some examples i have couple of examples for you their final answers are also written here so that you can tally your answers guys please write me in comment box whether you are able to solve these examples or not if you like this video please share this among your friends i will be coming with more such interesting concepts in my upcoming videos till then keep watching my videos thank you all of you thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos